Hi, my name is Melinda and I'm going to show you how to use the magic wand to trace an image. Now you can use this for paper piecings or if you have the craft robo with the optical eye or any machine with an optical eye. This is a fabulous way to make very quick printing cuts. Um, because basically once you use the magic wand you'll never use manual tracing again. Anyways, to show you um, where the magic wand is, it's right over here. However, in the Funtime software, it's not called the Magic Wand. It's got this really lame name. It's called Make Image Contour Cut. Good grief. Um, I don't like that name. I think it's way too long, and Magic Wand is straight to the point. It is a wand that creates magic. Now let me show you how it's done. First thing that you really want to have is a nice, crisp JPEG image. You don't want a JPEG image that's full of billions of pixels because when you blow it up, it's going to get really blurry. This is a JPEG, and if I move it around, you can see that it's grayed out. That's the software's way of telling me I have a photograph that has absolutely no cut lines. I'm just going to zoom in because I want you to be able to see this image clearer. And now that I've got the image nice and close up on screen, I'm going to show you how to outline it. It's very, very simple to do. All you do is you click on the magic wand and you'll see you've got the tolerance, the smooth, the zero, the inline, the outline. I'm going to show you what all of those are and the add path. And the add path is very important because that creates your outline to become part of your file. So all you do is you just go over to any part of your image and you're going to click outside of it. But before I do that, I'm going to show you there's the top portion of the egg and then I've got the top portion of the bow. Right between these two, I'm going to place my magic wand, left click, it turns into an hourglass and now it's done. Now it's been outlined. And you can see the outline. The only thing is when I'm doing a print and cut, I do not want any white showing. I'm one of these people, if I have any white showing, I'm just not happy. So what I do is once this image has been, you know, uh, uh, applied to my um, JPEG, I go over to Smooth, and if I move it to the right-hand side, you're going to see that it's going to pull away even further, and I have even more white showing. But if I move it all the way over to the left-hand side, it's going to hug the image perfectly. Once I'm happy with that, I need to click on Add Path. As soon as I click on Add Path, that line that I have created becomes part of the file. And now I'm just going to click on the Select Element button, and I'm going to click on my photograph, and I'm going to move it to the right-hand side. And now you can see my outline. It's nice and smooth, no manual tracing required. The software did it for me in a matter of seconds. All I need to do now is put my image back into my outline so I go to the top of the screen and I click on undo and now I'm back into that portion. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to do the ribbon over here and because I'm using an outline of black it's kind of hard to see so what I'll do is I'm going to use an outline of yellow and then when I make the outlines you're going to have a better view of them. Go over to the magic wand and now I'm just going to click anywhere inside of this and as you can see it's now created an outline for me. I'm going to color fill it so you can get a better view of it and as you can see I also have this portion of the shadow showing. I don't want the shadow showing. I want just this black lines to show not the shadow. That's where tolerance comes in. I'm going to take the tolerance and I'm going to move it over to the right hand side and the more I do that you're going to notice that the yellow is now hugging the black. So if I color fill this now you're going to see that that shadow portion which was here before is now gone. Once I'm happy with this I need to click on add path. Adding path again makes this part of the file. If you do not click on add path this is what will happen. I'm going over here and I'm filling this uh, with an outline of yellow and now I'm going to go over here and fill this with an outline of yellow. Do you see what's happened over here? It's removed my outline. The reason it removed the outline was I did not click on add path and since I did not do that this outline was not part of the file. So over here I've now made this new outline. Let me fill it in so you can see it better. I'm happy with it. I click on add path. Let's do the same thing over here for this middle portion 
and I'm just going to color fill it and I'm going to add path. Again, we're going to do that with this part. Let's color fill it with yellow. Click on add path and over here we're going to color fill that with yellow and then click on add path. And as for these shadows, I would like to keep them so I'm just going to click on them once and I'm just going to uh, fill them up with the color purple and click on add path and do the same thing for this shadow fill it with purple and add path. And I've made a really, really quick outline of an image, very easy. Now I'm going to show you what the inline and the outline is for. Let's go over here, especially when you have something pointing down like this. Let's click once to create our outline and let me fill it with the color red. And that way you can see the yellow outline a little bit better. If I go to outline and slide it over to the right hand side, you're going to see it's kind of hugging the image. Um, so the more I slide it over, the more it hugs this little portion over here, um, the little point from the ribbon. If I move the outline over to the left hand side, you're going to see it pulls away from that image. And that's what inline and outline is for. I always like to have my outline usually at around here. And when I'm happy, I just click on add path. And you would do that all the way up for this entire egg. And now let's just um, click on the select element. And just so that I'm not wasting too much of your time, I'm just going to click on the photograph, move it out of the way. And let's just pretend I've done all of the little um, stripes over here and let's say I've done the shadow over here I can click on the outline and I can fill it with black and there we have a nice paper piecing I can also now take parts of this image and move it over and then piece them together so it's a very simple way to uh, create a very very simple print and cut or a paper piecing and if you have any questions, feel, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.